In this video, we're going to be learning how to paint wolf pelts on Ragnar Blackmane. Then the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind, the great spirit. Welcome back to the channel collectors. So in this video, we're going to learn how to paint the wolf pelts on Ragnar Blackmane. The technique I'm going to be using for this series will be a lot of stippling and it's really fast and efficient and I hope you give it a try. This video is part of a greater series of videos where I go from component to component on how I paint Ragnar Blackmane. These videos are designed so that you can focus in on each component and create your very own Ragnar Blackmane very fast and very beautifully. So if you're ready to learn, let us begin. Alright, so the wolf pelts have been prime brown. I'm going to start with a light dry brush first. So this light dry brush I'm going to be using uh, raw umber. What you can be also using is uh, you can be using great Games Workshop Dried Bark or Rhinoxide for this stage. At this stage you want only a slight variation from the very dark brown primer that we have just used. The primer we have used is uh, Krylon Camo Brown As you guys can see This is the base colour of Krylon Camo Brown And right now we're just gonna dry brush And what this dry brush achieves is It starts to pick up little bits of the detail Even though it's uh, Even though the contrast is not great But it will add a little bit of uh, differentiation To the material so that At least the viewer can identify that there, there are some fur textures on Gradually I'm adding a little bit more uh, German Camo Beige into the mix But it's just a very very light, light touch to it So that you get to see this effect Alright So moving on I'll be Going to create More variations to the fur As you guys can, can see Wolf fur isn't just Wolf fur isn't just uh, isn't just brown we got to make sure that uh, the periphery of the fur is a little bit more complex so right now I'm using pure German Camo Beach and I'm stippling the sides of the fur uh, if you need a reference picture you can check out our Facebook page and there's a finished picture of Ragnar Blackman where you can see where this uh, where this lighter fur happens in a brief overview, it happens in all the corners of the of the pelt, uh, on the snout, and on the eyebrows. Okay. I do know that the snout will be painted a different color later, because the top of the snout will be painted black, and some of the eyebrows will also be faded into black. At this stage, you want to make sure that uh, the edge is rough. And you are stippling to create a smaller fur texture. As you guys can see on the cape right here, I'm using gradually more and more German Camo Beach and I'm stippling the edges to create a rough texture. Alright. So at this stage, what I can uh, recommend you guys is keep the paint slightly moist so that you can create a more interesting scratchy texture and this really makes the cape look a lot more complex if you want to push the contrast a little bit more you can always add in a little bit of ivory right now we are going to do a heavy wash of Games Workshop Agrax Earthshade uh, I used to underestimate this stage a lot However, once, uh, once I've done this wolf pelt, you'll be surprised how uh, amazing the effect actually looks. Okay, the tip that I'll give you guys at this stage is to bring the, bring the wash towards the darker area. Alright, bring the wash towards the darker area and pull it away from the lighter areas. This allows it to look more complex. As you guys can see, this is the final result. I'm adding a little bit more Agrax Earth Shade to the darkest areas to create more complexity 
and because I noticed that in the box art they have painted the wolf pelt uh, slightly more black and more desaturated towards the the top of the fur hence his name Ragnar Black Mane so we should also do that uh, you can also use agrax, uh, you can use now oil to blacken the black areas of the black wolf fur alright so as you guys can see the black nose and the black snout has been colored in I've been I've been using a, a covers black for that and now I'm using a, a neutral grey to actually dry brush the to dr actually dry brush the black areas you want to create some kind of differentiation so that the black mane is highlighted in grey whereas the lighter areas on the periphery of the side of the pelt is highlighted in a warmer tone so I hope you found this video useful and this is the final result. Very fast, very quick and very easy. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. In the next tutorial, we'll be learning how to paint the orange object source lighting or the environmental lighting which ties the entire Ragnar Black Mane together. I find that this step is really useful because uh, environmental lighting is one of the things which I place a lot of emphasis on. So, if you found this video tutorial useful, yes, thanks, please share it with a friend and all the other stuff. And if you really want to support the channel, do head on to our Patreon and become a Patreon today. Patrons get early access to many of my videos and this series, we have the exclusive video where you guys get to see how I paint Ragnar Blackman's face. However, if you can't become a Patreon, that's okay too. Really appreciate that you watched to the end and if you could, Please leave a like or a comment and check the subscribe button because it means so much to us and it helps us grow so much. I hope to see you in the next video and see you!